currently the number of people who have Alzheimer's is somewhere between five and six million. They're probably twice that, which are in the early stages of the disease, not diagnosed. Of the 10 leading causes of cell death in the United States or in, probably in the world, you know, Alzheimer's is number six, but it's the only one where there's absolutely no cure way of slowing it down or blocking it at any stage. For the past several decades, the treatment for Alzheimer's has been focused on, on one thing, and, and it's not working. Age is the greatest risk factor for Alzheimer's. And so in our lab, we believe that you need to look at all of the things that are happening in the aging brain. And so we're trying to create a new approach where you target all of these things that happen in the aging brain. And, and the work that we're doing in the lab right now is is focused on that new approach. We started off with curcumin, uh, which is a natural product, and it has some neuroprotective ability, but it doesn't get into the brain very well, and we wanted to try and improve the pharmacology of curcumin. And so that started the chemistry then to make derivatives. And we ended up making two generations of derivatives, and we now have J147 as the lead compound which looks very different from, from the structure of curcumin now. J147 has so many different properties. It's neuroprotective, it's neurogenic, it's neurotrophic. There's no other drug out there that has all of these properties together. So we're really excited because, because this is something really new. We believe this approach will work and this type of drug that we're working on will have a, a, a clinical significance in the future.